Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a pick a card reading in English uh, for the ones who do not understand Hindi. So this is going to be an extra reading for those who understand Hindi and English both. So this is for all those people especially who do not understand Hindi. So this is uh, a reading that is going to be in English and the question for today is what this person, whoever you're thinking about, feels for you currently and they could be your friend they could be uh, your person of interest they could be uh, your current partner or your ex anyone so these are the five uh, sets that are made starting from here one two three four and five take your time and this is a general reading everything that i say is not going to be exactly same in each and everyone's life so please bear with that and if you like it you can always get in contact with me through whatsapp my whatsapp number is plus nine one which is the code and six two three nine one nine five seven zero six or you can instagram me direct message me there at mystic enigma so all the details have been provided in the description box below so let's begin with the number one so okay so their current feelings towards you whatever you're thinking about <clears throat> all right so uh knight of pentacles ace of pentacles so this person really dying to talk to you all right so this person wants to come towards you want to talk to you could be a virgo taurus capricorn you could be a virgo taurus capricorn so but mind that this is a general reading so it could be a vice versa situation as well for some of you so uh they are very clear that they want to talk to you about something but I think uh, you're in this energy of ignoring this person or you're stubborn, you're not, uh, you're acting like you're ignoring them. Maybe you want to talk to them, but you're acting like you're ignoring them or they feel like you are not interested or you're really stubborn and uh, you're not, uh, uh, you're leaving this situation. So something like for some of you, you've been leaving this situation with this person. They feel like you, you are... Uh, going uh, you're leaving the situation and you're not happy in this situation anymore so they want to talk about it that is how they feel all right whoever you're thinking about you could be a gemini you could be um libra or an aquarius and i also feel that you could be connected with this person at your workplace as well where money is involved so uh <clears throat> You could be traveling towards them or they could be traveling towards you. You both could be traveling to uh, your work. So this situation uh, uh, involves a lot of traveling. I think you could be traveling a lot. So take time to breathe out. I feel that you are taking a break from this person. If you were already talking to this person, now you're not talking. Maybe I feel that you're not talking to this person currently. So they feel that you want to take some time and you want to take some time. You want to take a, a gap. You want to take a vacation kind of that. You do not really want to deal with this situation or with this person or you, in general only you like feeling very cold. They could be uh, sensing you in a cold energy. I think you need some time. You need some rest. You need a break. Something like of that sort. Maybe you're really tired or, uh, with your finances and career and you need some break. So they can feel, they can sense that you're uh, really working hard and now the, uh, you want to take a break. You want to go out, you want to really relax, go on a date maybe. They also want to take you out, you know, maybe for a dinner. All right. So I think uh, you are so much involved in money or they could be so much involved in money that they want a break or you want a break and uh, you both kind of want a vacation. I think they have some sort of trust on you. Maybe you guys are already uh, together, working together. So I think they kind of trust you uh, related to money or work or just as a friend so i think uh, they want to contact you but this is not the right time for them so they want to take a break or they feel that you need a break so they will uh, contact you but this is not the right time but they do trust the fact that you will definitely uh, uh you know listen to this person or you will uh, 
respond positively. So this person is really confident about themselves approaching you, right? So serendipity, I think they've surrendered to the divine and they know that uh, you, they have met you, uh, you know, because it was meant to be this is how they feel they feel that they are, you were bound to meet this person and they feel really connected with you spiritually somehow i think with serendipity i think they see a lot of nine or you see a lot of nine or uh, they see a lot of uh, repeating numbers you could be seeing a lot of numbers so they want to basically go with flow and they want to take a chance with you so this is all i get for the first group next now move let's move on to the Second one. All right. So, second one. Yes. So, how does this person you're thinking about feel about you? All right. So, I think they find you really, really attractive. You could be an Aries. You could be a Sagittarius. You could be a Leo. So, they feel that maybe you have a pet or you have a cat or they have a pet or they have a cat, dog, anyone. So, basically, they feel that you're a queen. Uh, you're a beauty. I think you uh, are like a boss in your life or in your work. Maybe you could be doing something related to creativity. And they feel that you're highly attractive. Whatever you're doing, they feel that you are quite attractive. They find that quite attractive. With this uh, page of swords, I feel that they're stalking you a lot. They're watching you on social media. Maybe with the sun card, you're doing really well in social media. Or you're doing really something creative in your personal life. And you're putting up pictures on social media, which they're being fan of. They're watching and they're so convinced by you. They feel that maybe some of you could be doing a home business uh, or someone could be earning a stable income uh, by doing their own work. So I think you're very stable in your own energy. They see you as an empress, someone who has achieved everything in their life and they're very happy and they do not need anyone. Someone who's so feminine, someone who dresses well, uh, looks well. You could be a male energy also. So if you, you're a guy watching this, so they could be seeing you as someone who is stable in their own energy, who's doing really well, who's very stable, who has a feminine side to them as well. And you dress well, you look really, really attractive. You do something which is related to creativity, business, arts. You know, uh, you could be doing something of your own and you're doing, you're being successful, you, you're you being famous, people are, uh, know, people know that who you are, people know that, uh, uh, I think you're kind of famous in your field, so they are really acknowledging this fact. So their feelings towards you is nothing really serious, what I feel is that I think that they want to give it a good start to this, I think they want to start something, maybe they want to talk to you. But they think a lot about you, but they're not really right now thinking of commitment of anything. Maybe they also have a pet, they also have a dog. They could be a younger energy than you or they could be a little immature. They do not want to commit to anyone. So they have certain kind of phobia, but they do want to know you in the beginning. So there is a kind of energy. I think they're waiting. They want to take their time. They want to see the pros and cons of the relationship or the connection before approaching you, before fully committing towards you. So they do feel a connection with you, but they really are scared of committing. They're scared of getting involved in a relationship. It could be a Pisces as well. They could be, um, they could be an air sign as well, a Cancer, a Leo. Yeah, they, I think they are in their own energy. They, are, they, they like to take risks. They are very innocent or naive in a, in a relationship or in a connection. So they do not know how to approach. They're watching you from behind. So they could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius as well. I think they are starting off, but you have reached your place. So that is why they do not think that you both are on the same page, but they really appreciate you, your work, and they admire you, your beauty, and they're really, really attracted to you, but they do not know right now if they're thinking of a relationship or something like that. But they're currently observing you, they're watching you from the back, 
as I told you with the stocking thing. So I think they're watching you, observing you and you do make them happy. So they want, maybe they're also thinking of a new beginning, ending of the past and beginning of something new, something different. So I think you've ignited something different, something new in them and they want to try this. Yes. And they've waited for this kind of a connection that's come towards them. So I think currently they're in a, a mode of uh, observing you, what you do, what you eat, how you sit, how you stand, how you talk. So I think they're kind of observing you maybe this is the beginning of something maybe you just met this person or they just started talking to you or something it's it's in the early stages of uh, connection so i think currently they are just observing you so i think they're watching you a lot with this hold your vision i think their their eyes are focused on you i do not think they are uh, watching anyone else they are um, uh, fully 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 focused on you and currently they're just thinking about you they're just watching you and they're really excited uh, to know more about you so they're holding on your their vision towards you so with this i think second one uh, this is how they feel for you so let's move on to the third one all right so, so let's Keep it here. Okay. So, hmm. with the Tower card, I think you could be dealing with a Scorpio, or you could be a Scorpio. Uh, could be a Cancer, Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius as well. So, I feel that some of you could be doing something related to astrology or something very different or you could be involved into teaching or studying too much. You love studying, you love books, I think. So they're really struck by your intelligence, they're really struck by your knowledge. I think you guys talked about something um, uh, knowledgeable and you gave good advice to them maybe they look up to you and they feel that you're quite intelligent you're quite, no quite knowledgeable in your field maybe they are uh, you are connected with this person through the kind of work that you do could be a teacher as well all right could be a counselor could be a doctor could be an animal breeder for some you few select for you could be having a pet as well Right, but whatever I feel is that you love reading or they love reading and they're really struck by you. They're really struck as in they're uh, amazed by you. I think your intelligence, I think your uh, knowledge. So they've come to know that they, you have a lot of knowledge in your field. So I think they really want to make an effort towards you. They're feeling a lot of love for your emotion for you. They feel that you're a nurturing woman. You're a simple woman, but you're really beautiful. I think they love your simplicity and your intelligence. And you're doing really well in your work. And they're really, really... Uh, when they saw you when they, when they met you they felt that they've never seen someone like you before so it's like you're someone uh, really different from the past experiences this person had and they kind you you kind of got struck uh, stuck into this person's mind struck by your aura your beauty your intelligence your personality could be a simple person who dresses simple and they find you really really nurturing so the, the, I think they are talking to you or you're talking to them and they love the way you talk. So maybe you guys are talking too much on phone or on WhatsApp or on messages, some of something of that sort. And I think they want to take, they want, they, they think of a change. When they saw you, they thought of some, they thought of something uh, they wanted to change about themselves right so they could be a uh, scorpio cancer or Pisces, or uh, you could be that you could be a taurus virgo capricorn as well a sagittarius as well they could be a sagittarius as well with this taurus i do feel that they could strongly be taurus prosperity lies ahead i think that they want to they want something more with you maybe and they feel really happy not just emotionally but also they feel that with you they can do really well um in uh, handling finances in their career as well so they want your advice as well along with happiness so you kind of complete them that's how they feel so they feel a strong chemistry towards you yeah they feel connected to you they feel a lot of uh, i feel that there's some sort of a uh, 
fated meeting you they know that you they were meant to meet you so this is some sort of a karmic connection as well from the past some past lessons so they came towards you and they learned something from you so it was a lesson to be learned so whatever this connection is you guys will end up learning from this lesson and moving on to the next or the, you, you might end up marrying each other as well because this was a fated meeting you guys were meant to meet could be a soulmate connection for some so yeah abundance i think this person is quite abundant uh, with prosperity i feel that they are not just emotionally abundant they are financially abundant as well so that they can give you overall abundant or they feel when they see you they feel that uh, they feel abundant they feel that they are complete they feel that you're the one who can give them uh, emotions who can give them uh, a support in their goal so in the near future so let's see what will happen yeah and so there is a chance that they might uh, uh, offer you a commitment offer you a relationship in the future so with the yin thing i feel that uh, they feel complete with you you are the one they feel that when they are with uh, they feel complete so you're the another part of their soul that's what they feel because there are two souls feminine and masculine so you're the feminine one that completes them if you're a, a women watching this and if you're a male then this woman is someone who you would feel like they're your twin they're your second part the second half of your soul uh, which is the feminine one so whoever this uh, woman is if even it's you they are feeling that you're really feminine you're really loving caring nurturing the person they always wanted someone very different they've never seen before and if you're a guy watching this you'll find someone like this and probably there will be a proposal coming up from this person uh, in the near future so keep your arms open and uh, yeah so I think they feel that you're the divine union you're the other part of their soul and you can you complete them so it's like they're struck by your personality they feel that they've never seen someone like you before and they want to make a move towards you I think something solid is coming up with this person so let's move on to the reading number three four yeah so what's up with the fourth group hmm. all right so how do they feel with three of wands with the two of wands With this uh, seven of uh, swords, with this eight of cups, I think someone left your life or you left them, but they are highly, highly addicted to you. They're highly obsessed with you and they're watching you. They want to talk to you. They're, they're making all the efforts to come towards you or talk to you. Maybe they're already trying to talk. One of you is trying to run away from the other because there's some sort of emotional immaturity in this connection. Someone is emotionally dissatisfied. Someone left and someone wants to come back. So there's strong, I feel, a vibe of reconciliation. Someone wants to reconcile. I think you guys must not be talking or someone is trying to avoid someone. But I think... Uh, they are waiting they're probably waiting for you to come towards them and communicate because i think they feel like uh, you left them and they are really 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 uh, pissed off or re they're really waiting or they might be thinking oh what is the right time for them to make a move because they're waiting there's a lot of waiting involved they're waiting for you because they're highly highly addicted to you or this could be your energy as well because this, this is a general reading so it could be a vice versa situation so one of you, I think, more like them. They could be a Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Yeah, strong, the air sign. Uh, or they could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You could be an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Or you could be an, an another air sign. Or you could be a water sign as well. Pisces, Scorpio and Cancer. So I think they are highly connected to you. Obsessed with you. And this is kind of an obsessive connection. Nothing which relates, which... Uh, supports uh, an emotional uh, base so there's no strong foundation between you guys they, they're just simply addicted with you uh, maybe uh, they do not want to let go of you because of some insecurities 
or they want an ego boost from you so this kind of a, this person is kind of toxic for you so i think they really want to make a move towards you but i think they feel like that you they've lost you and that you're gone and that now you do not want to interact with them and now they are scared now they want to come back so maybe this person is already having more than one options so yeah unrequited love so i think you guys have are already in a separation or they feel that they can't have you so they're scared they want to chase you now the chase has begun now they feel the chase now they feel that adrenaline rush now they want to come towards you because they feel that you're they won't be able to have you so that uh and that this is an unrequited love that there is not enough attraction yes also there's not enough love in this connection so it's all just uh kind of an obsession and addiction towards each other i think and whatever it is it's not going to last this relationship you're not going to get back together so this person is just having an obsessive uh kind of an energy towards you which is toxic they could be like someone who could be an on and off in your future they have other option as well they could be dealing with two people and they could be someone who you met online or who is watching you online who could be from a different place country culture origin i don't know so there's someone from a different place so i think there's an there's no uh, you guys are not talking right now not on a talking terms so there's uh, a separation i don't think you guys are gonna get back together so yeah again with this no card yes you guys are not going to be together so with this yang i think there too i feel that most of you are women watching this and this person is a male and they are in a in a uh, what you say masculine energy and if this is a female you are asking about they are in a very masculine energy i think they feel like they do not need anyone and they depend on people just for an energy boost so i think they are currently in in, in a kind of a mode who doesn't need anyone uh you know to connect with they do not uh, want anyone to f fill their uh, soul they do not want anyone to complete them because they feel that they're good enough for themselves and to, they have a different kind of an energy i think they're too masculine too toxic and too overconfident maybe this if you read this in a negative way this this comes out to be someone who doesn't need anyone right maybe could be a player energy as well strongly so this is a kind of person who's bossy who's dominating who are really uh, doesn't care about another person and they have too much fire in them i feel that a lot of uh, fire so they could be uh, a very passionate kind of a person who just is into passion and uh, they are uh, could be in aries sagittarius or a leo strongly you're dealing with or you could be that person so i think uh, they really do not need anyone yeah uh with you i feel that uh, it could be your energy as well because i got poised with this card and i feel that strongly because they feel that you already are really really strong you already are in your masculine energy and you do not need them and that you're really um, self sufficient and that you do not need anyone to provide you or protect you so this is making them crazy and this is making them worried because maybe you've been dependent on them in the past uh, and now they want that back and now they're coming back to you because they feel that you're very happy and confident in your own energy and you do not need them it could be that you are uh, an aries sagittarius leo as well so they see that you have a lot of fire in you so they feel really passionate towards you currently but it's toxic it's not going to last they also feel that you are very confident in your own energy and now that you've left them you're feeling really poised again you're feeling independent you're currently single i feel that most of you were women watching this you're very uh, single you're in uh, very poised and you're not anxious you're not worried about anything they can see that you're enjoying you're growing and they can't see that so i think they feel that they, you've changed they feel that you've changed and you've moved on and you're doing really well and they're jealous of that so they have a hate love and hate kind of a feeling towards you so whatever it is they now sense that you don't you do not want them and now they want to come back to you to show you that you need them which is not true so they also feel that you're a very balanced person currently 
and balance spirituality and practicality i think you could be a pisces they could be a pisces and they could feel that you are being really really self sufficient that you're spiritually transformed and you do not need uh, to cry on you know uh, anything and you're very balanced this you as currently you being very balanced and you're being in your yang energy very dominating bossy happy doing well in their life do not need anyone dressing well looking well they also feel that you're very practical currently you're working on your uh, money and you're working on your health maybe you some of you could be meditating whatever it is you're really really emotionally balanced and this they cannot see so they're watching you from afar and they want to come back towards you which is not for a long time so stay away from this person because this energy is really really toxic so let's move on to the last pile which is fifth one so this person whoever you're thinking about what do they feel all right so currently they're watching you all right they're judging you they're seeing what you're doing what you're not doing and they see that you're working hard they see that you're working on making money and uh, they also feel that you are hurt i think they did something to you which made you hurt and they can see that you're using that anger you're using that heartbreak into uh making something good you know into building money so you using that uh anger uh in a positive way you're working and you're working really really hard and you're really focused on your work they're watching that i think maybe you guys had a breakup you guys separated and now maybe one of you blocked another you blocked them or they blocked you but they can sense that you are hurt and you do not want to hear them maybe they want to talk to you with this horn they want to talk to you but you really avoiding them you're not listening to them and now you won't do not want to give them a chance they feel that you're really strong you're coming up you're getting back your uh <clears throat> becoming more stronger than before and that you really do not need them anymore and they feel that you're strong in your own energy you're holding up shit uh, you know you're uh, you're letting go of all the past negativities and you're coming out a strong person so they see that you're quite strong maybe some of you could be a veterinarian a uh, female veterinarian i feel that some of you could be having a pet i see so so many pets in the cards so yeah one of you could be i think you could be having a pet you could be a leo they could be a leo you could be a taurus virgo capricorn they could be um i sense a lot of air energy from their side so it uh gemini aquarius or libra any one of you could be or both so i think you were badly hurt by this person and they can sense that and they can see that you're working on your money and you're not focused on them anymore and that you're holding your shit together and you do not care and you're moving on and you're doing really really well and you're they can see that you're able to tame people you're so super confident they see you as a uh, someone who's in their confident energy with this trust card <clears throat> okay let me see more so i feel that you'll take them back so i feel that they trust uh, the divine that you guys will come back together you guys will communicate they want to talk to you and they really uh, trust the fact that you will take them back so they are very confident all right or they could be feeling trust towards you that uh, they can trust you over something they maybe they want to talk to you about something and they feel that you're the right person to share with so they want to communicate with you they want to have a clear communication with you they trust that something that is about you they really really trust maybe you're a very trustworthy person very honest strong person they can sense that they're judging that and they really really like it so they want to share with you so the answers you need are coming maybe you're waiting for this person could be strong gemini this person could be so whatever you're thinking about this person is coming towards you so also says that trust the divine connection trust the god because this person is coming with a communication towards you and you will get all the answers but, but be be careful you need to work on yourself you need to keep working on yourself you could be a virgo watching this 
so uh, you need to show this person that you do not need them and that you're good enough and i think you're doing that and this this is making that person watch you think about you and want to come back to you to the sea i think that this person uh feels that you really 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 uh sort it from now on the moment you started ignoring this person i think now you're sorted you're going with the flow and you really don't care about this person and you trust the um uh the 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 god the divine that everything's going to be all right so you're really confident in your own power and uh, <clears throat> they also feel that uh, you're really going with the flow you're not uh, bothered about them you're not bothered bothered about anyone and you're really confident in going with the flow so yeah so i think uh, maybe they uh, feel that with you they can just talk like uh, they can just go with the flow they do not need to think they do not need to uh you know um be careful of what they are saying because you're someone who can understand them that is what they feel right now about you that they can trust on you and they can talk to you about like anything so they want to go with the flow so this could be another uh thing so with this card there and now i think they're currently really 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 um watching you and they're seeing that you're uh, not bothered about present oh sorry past or future you're really really into your current energy and you're really feeling good about yourself you're working and you're going with the flow and i think you're doing really really well and you trust the process and you really do not uh, uh, force them to come towards you maybe so they really want to talk to you now and i think uh, they want to even talk to you like how you do it they want to say that to you like like how do you keep it so simple how do you manage to be so strong in such a tense situation and they trust you on words they can just say anything and you you won't mind it so i think with communication they are very easy with you or they feel that you make them feel easy when they communicate so here and now maybe uh you like to be currently in in a situation in which they can see that you uh are staying in present you're not bothering about what happened in the past or future you are staying in present you you are really 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 uh, uh being in your feminine uh self and you're taking care of yourself and you really do not need anyone else and you're not feeling bothered by anything so they feel that they've hurt you and that's why you've cut off communication with this person maybe you blocked them and now you're really uh, doing really really well so now they want to come and communicate with you and say these things to you that you're doing really well and uh, they i think with this i think they strongly want to come towards you and talk to you so to the sea so they they want this thing to go with the flow or they feel that you are someone who uh, is currently not bothered about them if they are there in your life or not you're just going with the flow and you're really really doing well present in your present energy you're not bothered about what will happen in future or what will happen in the what happened in the past you're just really really happy so that's it uh, with this um, um pick a card reading so if you want more readings like this let me know in the comment section till then like subscribe comment and hit the bell for for the future readings all right bye bye